So Rebecca left us yesterday with a question. If my gift is rubbish, can I swap? Well, I think it's very easy, isn't it, for us to be in awe of some of the people that have some amazing gifts. Those people that are able to lead amazing times of worship. Those people who are able to preach the word of God to many people without being nervous, without stumbling over their words. Those people who have the gift of evangelism, who seem to be able to talk to anybody and bring them to, to know Christ. But the truth is that actually by using those gifts, they need other people using their gifts as well. Where would a great time of worship be without someone using their gift of using the PA? Or someone projecting the words onto a screen? Where would a great preacher be without those who set up around him? Do refreshments, who, uh, who make everything ready? Where would your CU be if you didn't have those that made the posters and the flyers, stuck them up, didn't have those who went and organised the rooms or brought in the refreshments. The truth is, we all have a part to play, whether our gift is big or small. Paul puts it in 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12. He says, we're all part of the body of Christ. Each one of us has a function and a role to play. You don't see a hand walking down the road on its own. No, it needs the rest of the body around it to help it to move. It's the same with us. You know, you might see those with big gifts, but actually it's those behind the scenes using their smaller gifts that really get it moving. Uh, in the Bible, we see the story of Esther. And Esther, the only gift that we know that she has is the gift of beauty. And you might think, well, that's not a great gift. How can you use that to show Jesus? Well, the fact was that her beauty got her into the presence of the king. And then she was able to save God's people. She used her gift. Now, a few years ago, in my church, uh, there were a lot of people who were having out a particular family. The kids came to the Sunday school, um, but the mum and dad didn't come along to any of the events that we put on. But nonetheless, we continued to help that family. We supported them. We bought them food every week and tried to help them because they were in a bad place. And you know, after a little while, there was a knock on the pastor's door and it was the mum. And she stood on the doorstep and she said, firstly, I want to thank you for helping me and my family. No one else has ever done it. And then she said, now can you tell me about this Christianity thing? Because something about that makes a difference to you guys. She identified God in those small gifts that people used to help her. And it brought her to know God. You know, each one of those who helped with their small gifts has a part to play with anyone else who she brings to know Jesus. So let's not despise our gift, let's not look down on our gift, but let's, let's use it, let's use it to the best that we can, whether it be small or whether it be big. One of the verses in the book of Esther uh, is, is what someone says to Esther and says, you've been called for such a time as this. And I want to say to you that you have been called for such a time as this. Use your gift, use it to the best that you can, and God will bless your gift and will bless others through it. You might be saying, I still don't think that I have a gift. Or Rebecca is going to talk on that tomorrow.